All right, people, more card review. So today we are looking at a left arm offering. And as you can see in the image, he's like, give me that treasure, but you could take my arm. I'm wondering, like, I, I guess since he's going for the treasure, the guy behind him is like, screw it, I'm going to cut your arm off. Because it seems like even if he, the guy would just sit there with his arm chained up, the guy could just still come up and, you know, cut his arm off. So I, I don't know, maybe he's doing me a favor. It's like, hey, I know you can't reach that treasure. So look, look, hear me out, hear me out. I know that I could probably eventually get this sword to cut that chain off, but let's just cut out the middleman and just cut off your arm. You know, your left arm, just lose it. You get that treasure now. I know how thirsty you are for that treasure. There, there's some pussy up in that <laughs> You're going to lose your left arm. Like, hell no. I, I, no, no, no. Like, you're straight up asking me, would you rather lose your arms or use your legs? Take my legs. Take my legs. I need my arms. Like, holy shit. You need arms. You need hands. And, you know, like, what the fuck? Like, one arm? Like, what is in that box? What is in that box to make you want to lose your left arm? I'm right-handed, too. So, left arm offering? I mean, all right. But, you know, I'd still rather keep both my arms. You know, I, we can do, like, left leg a left leg offering. Let's, let's go, you know? But left arm? I'm not sure. So, hopefully this card is worth it because... Holy shit, I'm losing my left arm for it? <laughs> anyway, left arm offering a normal spell card that reads, If you have two or more cards in your hand, other than this card, banish your entire hand. Ooh, mm, mm. <laughs> Add one spell card from your deck to your hand. Any spell card you want. Uh, you cannot set spell slash traps the turn you activate this card. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I had to play this, right? Then I had to have two or more cards in my hand. It can't be this, of course. So... So, on playing this, I had to have two or more cards in my hand. I banish my entire fucking hand. Oh, knock something over. And I get one spell card. Any spell card. Any spell card. That's great. Any spell card. But, at minimum, I went neg three for one. That's a neg two. And... I don't care, I, almost, almost any spell card, especially in the current game, you know. We can talk about banned cards till the cows come home, but... Almost any card in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. I don't think a neg two, even if you would grab Regeki and Regeki your opponent's field, you just lost your entire fucking hand. Like, no, like, uh-uh, not, not even Regeki is worth it. I, I really can't even think of, of, uh, of a spell card that's in the game currently where you would go so neg. Just to get it, you know? Even Card of Demise, where you can be like, alright, left arm offer and get Card of Demise, put Card of Demise, draw three. Like, no, even that, still no. It's just, it's just, no. Uh, there's only one particular deck that I'm, I was thinking maybe could do this. Alright. It's a deck that, you know, generally banishes stuff, but like I said, you're banishing your hand. Uh, the deck I'm thinking of is Infernoids. Yeah, Infernoids uh, can play this card, they have two or more cards, banish, you know, and said, Generally, there are Infernoids or Research for other Infernoids, so even that is still kind of hurting, even for a deck like Infernoids, that hurts. And add one spell card from your deck to hand, Reasoning, you know, and then Reasoning, hopefully mill a nice chunk of your Infernoid monsters, so, uh, you know, it's still a lot of, it's still a lot of risk and a luck factored into it, but it gets to your Reasoning much quicker, it's, a, it's searchable Reasoning. Uh, you can't set spells and traps during the turn you have to discard. Uh, so there's no, there's not even any getting away at, you know, there's not even like, you know, play this, get, you know, card of demise, play card of demise, draw three, set some back, you cannot set spells and traps the turn you acted this card, so before or after, it doesn't matter, you cannot set spells or traps, so there's no getting out of like, well, okay, well, I have, you know, left arm offering and like, you know, five, you know, four other cards, let me go ahead and set this, and set this, then play card of demise, and bit, I mean, left arm offering, and get rid of these two, no, you can't, so, no set spell and traps. You gotta pretty much wait a whole turn. So you gotta set the spells and traps, pass it to your opponent, you get the turn, get you know, take your draw, play card demise with, you know, the cards that you have, and you just draw into something good, like a great you know, like a solemn warning or a solemn strike. You can't set this turn if you wanna play freaking left arm offering. Left arm offering banish your entire hand, your entire hand. And you have to have two or more. Like if you could if you could be like, alright, well, left arm offering, I have no cards in my hand, get a search, search spell, hell yeah, awesome. But uh, you have to have two or more cards with it, too. Like, god damn. Like, Infernoids, that's still risky. Just left them offering, banish my hand. I can't set any spells or traps, so, uh, whatever I have, it's just gonna be gone. My friendly monsters, they're gone, they're banished, and, you know, maybe I can play a little bit of that fossil, was it Fossil Dig or something? Like, no, that's a different one. No, Fossil Dig is the searching one for the dinosaur. What the hell? It's like Fossil something. Thoughts? I don't know. I don't know. No, I saw it played in front of us for a little bit, and they stopped playing it. So I don't know. Uh, 
No, <laughs> they could play that. You know, we have one uh, burial from the dimension, so you know it's just not very likely that Infernoids will get all the Infernoid monsters back that you banish for this. You get reasoning, and hopefully, when you play that reasoning, uh, you definitely have some good mills. Or if you already have a monster on your field, you can get that out of that monster gate, which is that seems like a little bit more proficient, but still, it's just you know milling, milling, milling. Uh, and you get called if you get called, of course, you don't get that monster as well. But I just I can't see it. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, it uh, this card it doesn't seem like it. And I'm going like neg two for a spell card. I can't send any spells to trap and turn activate this card. And I fuck my left arm offering. I'm not even sure if I would offer my fucking left nipple for this card. Like no, thank you. <laughs> it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. So I guess and in that chest is a spell card. This man's gonna lose. Like I don't even know. Like. Hopefully you're already set up, you're okay, you don't mind losing a hand, and that spell card can get you the game. Like, if, that, if you can play this card, you know, banish your entire hand, get Regeki, play Regeki, and go for a game, then I guess. But still, like, I'm looking at a more practical game uh, uh, standpoint. And it's, in this game, this Yu-Gi-Oh, it's all about resources. I went neg two on this card, and I don't even care. Like, shit. You can even fucking, you can play this card, banish your entire hand, right? Get fucking Pot of Greed. Play Pot of Greed, and get two cards. So, you're still neck. <laughs> you're still neck because you play this card, banish two, so that's three cards to get a uh, a pot of greed. So you're neck two. Then you play pot of greed, which is a neck one. So out of the two cards that you you know, uh, you pot of greed, then you play pot of greed, and then get two. So yeah, you're still card behind. So even if you get fucking pot motherfucking pot of greed, it's still just de got no. <laughs> you know. So I don't know. I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe, I don't know, you activated, like, a crap ton of spell cards, and then you play this, banish your hand, and get Spellbook of Judgment, and then, you know, do it that way. But I think Spellbook of Judgment is spell cards after you play it, not before. So, mm, you know, even just then, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, like, maybe, like, Mir Nightmare, you know, uh, Mirage of Nightmares, play it, draw four, up to four cards, but then you still can't set these spells and trap cards until you activate this card, so... You, 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 out of the four cards you draw, you can't like set them and then make sure you, they're you know out of your hand. No, because you draw during your standby phase and lose your hand during your standby phase. So no, that's still a little bit too slow. I don't know. I don't fucking know what you would do this card with, but I don't know. I guess the only thing I can think of is reasoning for Infernoids quicker, but is it worth it? I'm not sure. You haven't seen Infernoids in a cool minute, like pretty much after uh, uh, Necros, that format, the Duelist, there was what, Duelist Advent format with Necros and Burning Abyss and Tellers and Cleans. When that format pretty much disappeared, uh, Inferno is just kind of left too. I mean, they didn't even get hit and they're just kind of gone. And then uh, Cosmo just kind of picked up that reasoning for a little while. And they're like, hey, look what I got. <laughs> you know? Remember when the deck played this and no one's like, I don't remember Inferno. It's like, at all. You know? I think Big Capital G did a video and it's like top 10 decks. And I think number 10 was Inferno. And it's just like, yeah, when's the last time we've seen that deck? <laughs> so, mm, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like people gave up on the deck as if, you know, they're like, well, I didn't get Monster Gate up and, you know, Charge is still at two, so I guess they're not giving Infernoids any cards anymore, so I'm just quit. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> anyway, there we go. That, uh, goes for the card review. So, if you guys have any tips, like I said, let me, let me, actually, before we end this, let me just go ahead and click the tip button. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This card works well in sharing new decks or cards like DD Scout playing Necroface and Soul Absorption. Meh. So banish decks like no, and sure knees no, they don't need it. Uh, once a turn before using this card, the user can set spell traps in order to minimize the amount of cards they banish. I already talked about that. Uh, this card helps DD decks by loading the banished zone with cards that benefit from being banished. Still no, because who the fuck's playing DD deck? And if this card is used to add chaos and to the player, this card can be used to add chaos and to the player's hand, and helps meet its requirement. And what the fuck is chaos end? Chaos End is a normal spell card that reads, you find this card if seven or more cards are currently removed from play, destroy all monsters on the field. Or I could just play fucking Dark Hole. Like, you know. And uh, I'm surprised I'm going to tips here, there's nothing about Inferno so there you go. But still, like, Necro Face, DD Scout Planes, shit like that, like, you're being a little bit too cute, you're being too cute, and ain't nobody got time for that. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and call it for card review. So if you guys have any suggestions about this card, and tell me if you guys would play it, but I'm not sure. It's just, the neck's not worth it. It's really not. It's not worth my left arm. It ain't worth my left nipple, really. It ain't even worth my left anything. I would go ahead and keep everything on my left. It's not even worth one piece of hair on, on the left side of my head. Like, no thank you. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying another card review. Of course, I'll be back next week with some more cards to look at. 
uh, still a little bit on a dry spell, you know, there's, there hasn't been a, a lot of new cards uh, coming out to talk about, so I don't know, maybe we'll find something that I skipped over, or maybe we'll just talk about an old card, maybe, um, you know, card review can always just be about, you know, a banned card that I could talk about, maybe coming off the list, or how much I hate it, or it could be a uh, simple side deck text and upcoming format, card review can be anything that I want to talk about, so I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, just mostly been just new cards, because they, you know, they're new and interesting, but still, so, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and see you guys next week with some more card review. Thanks for watching.